Hello everyone, welcome to my Project Ideas channel. Today we will learn how to make a number game using Arduino. So let us begin. So for this, we need one Arduino, one small breadboard, one LCD screen, four push buttons and five resistors along with few connecting wires. Now let us see how to connect the circuit. So first of all, let us see how to connect the push button. We will connect the first terminal of it to this 5 volt pin of this Arduino, second one it to this GDND pin of this Arduino through a resistor, and the third one of it to this 8, 9, 10, and 11 number pin of this Arduino respectively. So in this way, our four push buttons are connected. Now let us see how to connect the LCD screen. So over here, we will connect the ground pin, contrast pin, and read and write pin of the LCD to the GND pin of the Arduino. After it, we will connect the power pin of it to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And this register select and enable pin of it to this 2 and 3 number pin of the Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect this DB4, DB5, DB6 and DB7 number pin of the LCD to this 4, 5, 6 and 7 number pin of the Arduino respectively. After it, we will connect this LED anode pin of it to this 5 volt pin of the Arduino and LED cathode pin to this GND pin of the Arduino through a resistor. So in this way, our circuit is ready. Now let us see the code. So this is our code over here. First of all, we have included one header file of liquid crystal library. Now after it, we have initialized one array of it. To this 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 number of pin of this Arduino to which this LCD is connected. After it, we have initialized some variables and this ABCD represents the options, and 8, 9, 10, and 11 number pin of this Arduino represents to which this push buttons are connected. After it, we have declared one more integer A and initialized one variable score to 0. After it, we have used one setup function in which we are beginning this LCD screen with this. Uh, and over here, 16 represents the number of columns in the LCD and 2 represents the number of rows inside it. And after it, we have configured the pin mode A, B, C, D for the input purpose. Now in this void loop function, first of all, we are, we are clearing the LCD screen and setting the cursor using this function to 0, 0. And we are printing this text. Select the next number in the series. After it, we are using this delay function which takes the time in milliseconds and over here 2000 milliseconds equals to 2 seconds. After Again, after it, we are clearing the screen, setting the cursor, printing this question along with, uh, along with these options. Over here, this push button 1 represents the A option. This is the B and this is C and respectively D. Now after it, we are giving the user 5 seconds of time to guess the option. Now if the correct option is there, means this will be high. So we are increasing the score by 5. And again we are clearing the screen, printing the score of the user. And after 2 seconds of it, we are printing the next question for 5 seconds. And getting the answer in the similar uh, in this similar way, all the other questions will be there. And at last, the final score will be displayed. Now let us see how exactly it will work. So for it, I'm clicking on Start Simulation. Select the next number in the series. Two, four, eight, sixteen. Next will be thirty-two. Yes, 1, 3, 5, 7, next will be, I guess, 9, oh, I was late, okay, the next question is 81, again, I was late, it will be, oh, it will be 5, again, I was wrong, 7, I guess, 11, B, yes, this time I was on time. Again, I think it will it will be four. Yes, again, finally, this is my final school fifteen. So in this way, it will work. Thank you.